It's all about just really helping people, being able to meet their needs and, and, and really being able to, to put yourself in their position. Hello and welcome to another Community Spotlight where we interview local businesses that we know and trust and introduce them to you. And today I'm excited to have John Heeland with Floor Crafters on the show. And so John, yeah, thanks so much for coming on the show. Sure, glad to. Uh, yeah, so just wanted to kind of ask you a little bit about your story and how you kind of got into the flooring business and give our kind of community a spotlight into you and um, kind of what you do. So. How did you originally get into the flooring business? I, I worked for uh, a local uh, flooring store uh, right out of high school. And then when I was 21 years old, um, I just decided to go out on my own. Yeah. And so did you work for them for a certain amount of time and then just really loved flooring? Or how did I that just, go for I, you? Really, it was, I worked there for two years and just, um, it was, I mean, I was just right, really out of high school, yeah. so it was really all I knew. Yeah. And I knew I wanted to be in business, and I thought it seemed to be a, a just a, a good business for for me to um, venture into. So that's what yeah. started it. So, do you feel like you kind of always had that entrepreneurial? I did. Bug? I, I remember the first date with my wife. I told her, I said, you know, my dream is is I want to own my own business. Yeah. And lo and behold, it's just all came to be. Yeah. So. so even before high school, do you remember even times as a kid, kind of that desire showing itself? I remember when I was in high school, I took uh, business um, ed, and I remember just just I, I liked the idea of being my own, um, just being an entrepreneur, and really kind of really charting my own uh, direction, and um, that was always my dream. I didn't know if it would be possible, but. Uh, it certainly came to be. Yeah. So tell me a little bit more about that transition of like how you first got started and like opened the store. Were you just on your own? Did you have partners? Yeah. Or? I just, you know, we originally started out, uh, we, we started with Midwest Carpets in Burlington. I had two partners there. Then we, after a year, we opened up the Fort Madison store. And after that time, I just knew that, that three three owners were, were, it just made it very difficult. Sure. So I went uh, to, it was Bob Ingram and Dick Rittler, and I just went to them and, and just simply said, listen, here's what, if you would be up for this proposal, why don't I take Fort Madison you and you guys take Burlington? And it was a great transition. We remain, in fact, uh, Bob Ingram is still alive today, and, and we're best friends. I yeah. mean, so it wasn't, you know, we really got along. We, 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 we were good competitors, but yet we were also really, really good friends. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so as I've experienced uh, running a company, um, I'm only beginning to tip my toes into where you've been for years, and it's been difficult. Tell me a little bit about first getting started and maybe some of the stories of that come to mind of when it was maybe really tough and you maybe thought, should I have ever done this? Yeah, I, I, I just remember I've always, I mean, I enjoy people. I've always just enjoyed uh, working with people. And honestly, I, I don't know if, if, if at that time if I really um, – had what I would consider major challenges. Sure. Um, I think I have the same challenges today as I had back then. Um, I've always, um, my father always taught me to persevere uh, and, you know, never quit. Uh, and so I've always really taken that mindset and and um, just have always, and one of the things I think that I've tried to do, uh, I remember that just uh, looking at, all businesses have problems, right? And I've always tried to learn this. Really, this, you know, is don't run away from your problems. Run to your problems. Hmm. I've learned that that if you ignore a problem, it's it's never going away. Yeah. And and it's so important that 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 you address the problem. Uh, if you've made a mistake, you're just you, you know you just have to be able to own it. Yeah. Uh, tell the customer, hey, we, you know, we just made a mistake and we're going to make it right. Yeah. Uh, and so I think that's helped me 
to be able, you know, just going forward, not having to be uh, feeling as though that that uh, um, we, you know, we 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 have what I think is a is a, a good reputation in the industry, yeah, and or you know, in in the, this business, and so I think we've tried to maintain that, just to make uh, make sure that that um, you know the customer, and I I tell our salespeople here. You know, it's a very competitive business like all businesses are, but people still buy from people mm-hmm. and people buy from people they trust. Totally. And so I think that when, when, when you know, someone comes in and, and because we've been here for almost 50 years in the same location, mm-hmm. I think it just helps us to, you know, to be able to tell our story, to tell that, that um, you know, we're here and, and uh, um, we love that we love repeat business we love referral business uh, it's important for us to to just to continue to do what we've done not, yeah we know what we're good at and and also we know what we're not good at sure. and so we we really just try to stay in in that area where i really feel i, I think we're really strong residentially mm-hmm. uh, and because of that we just really try to to focus on residential we'll do small commercial uh jobs installations but but we just really shy away from the large commercial, we just don't have. That's just not our. Uh, it's just not our our lane. We just know yeah. that it's that's a tough part of the business. I think some people do very well at it. Sure, uh, but it's just not something that that we have found. It it really it, it it's taken away from our retail. So we just really have focused on the retail aspect. Of the yeah, business. no, I I totally relate to that. So I know what you mean there. Um, it seems like just in our interactions, I've gotten to see how much you love people and how much you care for really making them feel valued. Um, can you tell me a certain story where maybe a certain customer just expressed uh, that they experienced that from you guys and from your service? I, I you know, I there's been many, not many occasions, but several occasions. We're, we also own flooring liquidators, which is, a, you know, we really appeal to a price sensitive customer. We have a lot of inventory that that uh, that we we have purchased from from either Shaw or Mohawk or or various, and because of that, we've had customers that have called us. Uh, they had a, a damage and they needed a carton and a lot of stores will just really just feel like I'm not messing with one carton of wood or one carton of vinyl plank but I, I what I try to do is put myself in those people's shoes to understand you know they they're they're calling they they're they're in a in a situation to where um, they they need this and to me I've, I've, I've I told you know again told the salespeople here it takes just as much effort to be nice and to kind 100%. as it is just to, you know, blow them off. And so we've had several people that have just have commented. They just said, you know, we've called several stores and nobody has ever really a called us back or B, you know, really showed that. I mean, we understand it's a it's a small thing to you, but it's a big thing to us. Yeah. And so I think that that, you know, you just when you when you address and, and try to put yourself in the customer's shoes, uh, I think it really helps us to really be able to just to to try to do everything we can to make sure that that customer even if it's like I say if it's something that that we have that it, it it's gonna it's gonna it's a lot of work I uh, I had a customer from Florida that needed one carton of tile and it was the tile was twelve dollars <laughs> and and the freight was like thirty five and and I made nothing on it yeah. and I took it to the UPS store and I made nothing on it but uh, by the same token, I knew that it me- it meant a lot to them. So yeah. I think that's what you have to do. It's just understand that that you know it's 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 all about just really helping people, being able to meet their needs and 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 really being able to to put yourself in their position. Yeah. You know? So we appreciate we really do we appreciate all business. You know whether someone comes in and they're looking just for a small quantity or they're looking for a large quantity. Yeah. I don't. I really don't think that. That our attitude changes at all. I right. Think we really try to address those things with with customers. So, um, you know, we're very, you know, we're just very blessed. Yeah. No, that's awesome. So, with those customers that are kind of, they know that they want to have a project done, whether it's the whole house, all new hardwoods, or if they had some uh, water damage and maybe the basement needs some some new carpet. Um, no matter the project, no matter how big or small. What do you feel like is something that the typical customer 
should keep in mind when considering having flooring uh, services done, um, just some things to kind of have on the forefront of their mind when they're reaching out to different companies. Do they go to the big box stores? Do they come down to you? Um, what are just some different thoughts that yeah. they should consider? I, I, I think that, again, people still buy from people. Yeah. And I think that if it, we understand we have to be competitive with, with, with our products. And so I believe if we're competitive uh, and, and because we're locally owned, a family owned business, I, there's just a lot of people that I think really want to support that. Really mm. want to to say, you know, we 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 could buy from from these people, but we want to buy from you because we know we know your reputation. We know you're a small business. We know you're family owned. We know you're a Christian. And I think because of that, I think that 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 adds just uh, it it really helps people to understand that that um, you know we're we're. We're here, and and we're here to you know we're here to help you. Yeah. Um. And you know even if they choose, we've had some people that, um, that have bought at a big box store, and they just ran into some some real installation problems. We had one customer that that was just they the a big box store had just given them some some installation days. They didn't show up. They called me, and and they had been in the store and looked at it at some stuff, but they bought from the big box. But they just called and said, "Would you consider it?" And I could tell they were. So we did. We I sent our guys up. We installed it for them, and and they said, "Well, listen, any time in the future, um, you have our business." So That's I think awesome. it's all about just putting things into perspective, putting yourself in the customer's uh, place, and then being able just to say, you know, um, not you just have to be able to to you know. Again, just help people uh, understand. I mean, obviously, we're we try to to do all we can. Um, you know, we're we have a, a, a from Better Business Bureau A plus rating, hmm. uh, and you know, I think we I think we have a good reputation, and we work hard. We yeah. that means a lot to me. If a customer calls and and there's, I, I think is you know when you talk about things in business that have been challenging. I've had I've had many challenges financially. I've had many, but I think that the thing that has really kind of really, you know, just really hit me hard is if a customer is really upset. Hmm. That, that upsets me. Yeah. You know, I, I understand that, you know, you're going to have some, some finance, you're going to, you're going to go through some, some, you know, some highs and lows, but when a customer's upset, it just upsets me it's yeah. just because I, I want to do everything I can to make sure that, that, uh, um, I, I just don't like those calls. I know. And what you have to do is, is again, uh, just address it, face it, uh, and do what what needs to be done. Yeah. And so if it means that that um, you know you you it, it costs you uh, you know, and there's times where even where I think we were in a position to where we were right, but I I just feel like. You know, it's not, again, you have to look at the big picture. Yeah, it might not and, be worth it. Yeah, it, and just to say, you know what, just go out and take care of it. Yeah. And, you know, you've gained a customer, and, and uh, so I, I think if we just continue to to take that attitude, I, I think it's it's worked well for us for 50 years. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, that's awesome. Um, just to give people a little bit of insight to getting to know you a little bit more, I just wanted to ask you a, a silly question. Um, what's the most fun thing that you enjoy doing or playing with your grandkids? Well, I, I, you know, we enjoy, we have eight grandchildren and they're all under eight years old. So, you know, we, we, we I enjoy just being able to go and, and really just watch them just being able to enjoy. We're very blessed. We have, we have um, four sons and, and uh, three of them uh, have, um, Three, three children and two, so we have eight grandchildren, but they're good dads. Yeah. And it, it blesses our hearts just to be able to, to see them uh, in action. Yeah. You know, and, and hands on and all of that. So when we go, it's, it's, it's really special. They call me Chi. Yeah. And last, uh, two weeks ago, uh, my son John and and his his three boys were here, and the little boy he's he's a little ornery. He, <laughs> he's a great he's a good little fellow, and, and yeah. just full of energy. Yeah. But anyway, they come down to the store to say goodbye, and and he come running up to me. He goes he goes I'm gonna miss you, Grandpa G. I said well Henry I'm gonna miss you too, buddy. So I think it's just you know being able to we took him bowling and and. Uh, 
you know, just took them for pizza and spent some time with them. And, and I think, you know, again, I, I learned, you know, even as my childhood, you know, that it's not what you buy them as far as possessions. It's, it's just the quality time that you spend with them. Yeah. And, and let them know that they're important to you. Yeah. Uh, my, my wife is, ex, she's extremely, she, they call her the grandma whisperer <laughs> because she'll sit down with them and play puzzles with them. And, and they just think that's, that's just amazing. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just very, I've been married for 50 years, believe it or not. And, and, uh, so I've got a I've got a great wife, and the Lord's blessed us with with really five great kids and yeah. eight amazing grandkids. So what more could I ask for? No kidding. No, that's awesome. You have an amazing family oh, thank and you. Uh, an awesome business full of incredible people. Um, if people wanted to reach out to you to maybe have you give them a quote, do measurements, kind of see what it'd be to do business with you. Uh, what's the easiest way for them to get in touch with I you? I would say probably the easiest, just Google. You know, we have four crafters um, and we also have flooring liquidators, which they're both next door. Uh, they're both side by side. I think that's probably the easiest versus giving them a number because I don't think people don't, they forget it anyway. Sure. So I think if you just Google it, um, we joined Carpet One about 20 years ago. Carpet One is, they're a co cooperative. They are like what, what the, what true value is to hardware stores. Carpet sure. One is to, to the floor covering industry. We okay. joined them and it, that gives us a lot of, I think just, they give us a lot of tools as far as it, in merchandising and advertising and and training and all of that, so we feel very fortunate there as well that yeah. that uh, that you know we're part of that uh, of, of that Carpet One uh, family. So yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah, so we're you know as I say, I just feel like that I I just have really tried uh, in the years just to, to um, stay humble. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and 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 just be you know just try to be um um just try to be kind to people yeah i think it just is i think it people can understand or, or they can sense when you know when they come in a store i because i i do the same thing when i go into a, 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 a whether it's a retail store or a restaurant you know you can really tell if somebody truly is if they if they're engaged and you can tell if they're not engaged right and so i that i i i look at that and i, I that to me is very very important yeah. when you have someone that that uh, um, you know really wants it's you know you can just tell hey i, I want to help you yeah. and so i think that's 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 important it's just very important this is a, you know it's as i said before people buy from people yeah and it's just you know um there's a lot of places to buy flooring mm -hmm. and so but we're thankful for what we have yeah you know just have never honestly i've never been upset of, of a job that we didn't get i feel like that that you know we have we're i'm thankful for the business that we do have and i, I understand you can't be everything to everybody i understand you can't get all the business and and i, I I'm, I'm okay with that yeah. you know i don't feel I, I don't feel offended if somebody doesn't buy from me the only time i would be offended is as if it was because of me they didn't buy from me right you know, because of something that happened or whatever that would bother me but yeah. just because you know they they found a product that they like better or or they got a better price or whatever it might be. I understand that's just part of business. Yeah. Well, I could tell you that just based on our experience with getting flooring from you guys and based on other people in the community I've heard from, you guys are definitely doing what you talk about as far as uh, providing not only a great product, but a good experience where people feel cared about. Yeah. Well, so yeah, you. you guys are doing a great job. Thank Is there you. anything that I didn't ask or um, mention that you'd like to share at all? We're, we're, we just feel very, very fortunate. We, yeah. I, I think that the nice thing in living, living in a small community and living in, I think, even in, in the Midwest or Iowa, you know, we don't have the peaks and valleys of business. It seems like, you know, yeah, there'll be a slowdown or whatever. But, but I think that, you know, and, and honestly, the, the, and I've told people this, in all the years that I've been here, there's been very, very few. Um, I've, I've not had many bad debt at all yeah and that that to me is really i think it's just a testimony of of the, of the quality of people that that come in that you know people work hard they pay their bills and and uh so you know i i there's just we're on some facebook groups and i just it's i i sometimes i just have to you know uh, <laughs> Get away. Yeah, I just have to block them because you know they're just so negative about everything and everybody, and I, I just think you know just, 
just chill, you know, <laughs> just, you know, not, it, it's, it, not every day is going to be perfect. It, right. You know, it's all in perspective. It's all how you look at it. And, you know, I think sometimes, you know, you just have to understand you're dealing with people uh, and sometimes, you know, difficult people. But to me, I, again, I look at that as opportunity, Yeah. you know, so I, I feel as though that that's not, that's not a bad thing. Not right. A bad thing at all. No, definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks so much you for bet. sharing thank your you, story. Yeah, yeah I appreciate you. it. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. You bet. God bless you. You too.